I'm going to preface this video by saying that my mic is completely out of battery, so I'm using my phone as my mic, which is why I'm holding my phone to my face. A saying that a lot of people go by in fingerboarding is all tape feels the same in the same way that skateboarders say all grip feels the same. I may not have been fingerboarding for as long as many other people, but over the last six years, I've definitely noticed that that's not the case. So I used to believe that all tape was the same, but I've really since changed my mind and I'm going to kind of explain what changed my mind basically. So over the last few years I've accumulated a ton of decks and even a few years ago I had a whole collection of boards that I wasn't using anymore. I had a mixture of old boards with china tape, with FBS, and even like the super old rip tape on them. So I was going through this collection because I wanted to, you know, set up an old board because I hadn't ridden it for a while. Let's say it had been about a year since I last set the boards up, or maybe even two years. So I started feeling the tape to see if it needed to be changed, and what I discovered was actually that the china tape was no longer grippy anymore. And I used to absolutely love china tape. Like, I swore by China Tape. On the other hand, the FBS that had been worn in over a year ago and I hadn't touched for over a year was still really grippy and I didn't need to, you know, break it in again. It was completely usable just right then and there. It felt pretty much exactly the same as when it was originally broken in. And after that, I decided I wasn't gonna get China Tape anymore. I started using FBS exclusively, but since then I've also found a bunch of other brands that I really like and like to support. Brands like Sponsor Me Tape, Cheat Cheat, black velvet none of whom sell that crappy china stuff i used to love now the biggest reason why i love china tape was honestly the fact that it was easy to wear in but also because it was a lot cheaper in comparison to a bunch of other brands i could get 10 sheets of china tape for the same price that i get five sheets of fbs but of course you get what you pay for Although China Tape wore in a lot quicker and pretty much wore in like right out of the box or immediately after application, the biggest issue was it didn't last long term. I've since learned that with brands like Sponsor Me Tape or Black Velvet or even Cheat Sheets that when I set up a deck with that tape, I have the comfort of knowing that if I decide to unset that board up that in a year's time that tape will still be usable and I won't have wasted a sheet of tape. I'm not here to preach about like quality fingerboard tape, but I will say that none of these tapes feel exactly the same. Like China tape doesn't feel the same as Sponsor Me Tape, Black Velvet, or Cheat Sheets, or honestly I'm just naming those brands because those are the ones that I back. Even between those brands themselves, there is a difference and I can feel the difference too. Generally, I really don't mind what tape I use. A lot of the times decks will come with China tape and I will gladly use them. And the really great thing about a lot of companies, like for example, Beast Pants, is they quality control the tape that they provide with their decks. But even though I don't mind generally what tape I use, if I had to purchase my own tape, I would definitely go for brands like Sponsor Me Tape, Black Velvet, or like whatever else I've mentioned so far. It honestly just depends on what's available. I will say though that if you're buying China tape, a really great thing about it is you don't have to worry so much about applying it wrong because it doesn't feel like you're wasting a ton of money. Like if I have 10 sheets for, I don't know, like five bucks or less, if I mess up the grip job for one sheet, I still have nine other sheets. The stakes aren't as high. But of course, the thing with China tape is you cannot personally quality control it. So within those 10 sheets, you might only have seven sheets that are completely usable and the other three sheets will either have to act as non-sliders or you throw them away. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you use China tape or if you use FBS. If it works for you, it works for you. I just thought that this was a really interesting topic because a lot of people generally just say that all tape feels the same. And again, like I said, I used to believe that too, but I don't believe that anymore. So I'm curious to see whether you guys agree with me or not. 
does all tape feel the same or doesn't it? If you have a specific brand that you prefer, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what everyone rides. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I have some ideas coming up that I'm excited to share and I have a big announcement coming to you soon as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content, definitely follow me on Instagram at annianfb.mov. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was kind of interesting, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.